Hi, and welcome to Aerial Media Pro channel. A lot of you guys out there have been asking us on how to do a firmware update on your aircraft. So today we're here to show you exactly how to do that. This method is going to work for your Inspire 1 Pro, Inspire 1, Phantom 3 Professional, and a Phantom 3 Advanced. A couple of things we need to get into before we get started is that you don't need to be updating your firmware every single time the new firmware comes out. It's only when DJI comes out with those critical firmware uh, upgrade that grounded your aircraft and preventing you from flying. That's when you really need to get into um, upgrading your firmware. If I have to shoot the next day, I probably will not be upgrading my firmware the day before. The reason being is um, it might ground my aircraft and preventing me from going to that job and finishing my job. Um, now this method is going to work for drones with current firmware of 1.3 and above. You may ask yourself, when do I update firmware or when do I know when the new firmware will become available? Uh, the easiest way to do that is to turn on your transmitter, turn on your copter and then launch the Go app. Right in the middle there is going to say, let me see here, uh, overall status. So you tap on that, it's going to tell you uh, what you need to upgrade. Like on mine, it's saying that to upgrade um, on my RC, my camera, my aircraft, everything needs to be updated. To check on your current firmware on the top right corner, tap on that menu, go all the way down to the bottom to about, and tap on that, and it's going to open up a screen uh, showing you the version uh, of your different component, uh, your aircraft, your RC, your camera. Uh, a couple things you need to do before you uh, get started. Um, you need to charge your battery, both on your uh, aircraft and your transmitter, and also you need to get yourself a SD card so you can use a 16 gig uh, class 10 that comes with the copter when you purchase one uh, and also a SD card reader so you can get that in, at any um, electronic store and what you want to do is you want to um, insert that into your computer and then go, go to DJI.com okay once you're there um, I'm doing the Inspire 1 Pro, so I'll go to Inspire 1, Inspire 1 Pro, and go to Downloads. Click on that. Now, I want to download the newest firmware onto my copter. So again, go ahead and click on that. Save onto my computer. When you've done that, you want to go ahead and uh, go to my computer. Go to Downloads, and then click on the folders that you just downloaded, which is the Inspire 1. Uh, on my case, it's going to be Inspire 1 Pro. Click on that. It's going to open up a file, and then you're going to see the bin file. What you want to do is to drag that bin file onto your micro SD card. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now that it's copied onto your SD card, you want to go ahead and eject your SD card. Now that you got the bin file on the micro SD card, you want to put that micro SD card in the camera. Um, on the X5, the slot is on the top here, and on the X3, it will be on the side. Just put that in there. Also, you want to go ahead and take off the props. Uh, you don't want that to going around hitting you. Uh, something might happen and injure yourself. You want to take that off. And also, you want to check if the, um, the battery is full. Uh, the reason being is you don't want the battery to be empty or shutting off during the update. Um, it's going to break the copter. Um, that's mean that it's not going to work anymore and you have to send it back to DJI to, um, to repair. So make sure the battery is full before you start it. Okay, go ahead and turn on the copter. Okay, look like it's good. There you go. So the red and green lights mean that it's updating, and the four beeps mean that meaning that it's updating. So just wait for that. It can take anywhere from about five minutes to uh, 25 minutes, depending on how big the update is. So there's the four beeps. And what we are waiting for is the three beeps. Okay, we'll go ahead and pause here and we'll come back when it's finished. 
All right, so it's been about 20 minutes. Uh, looks like the copter has finished upgrading, uh, indicated by the three beeps and the green light on the gimbal there. Uh, if you get a different result, like a, a red light with a long beep, that's probably mean that it's failed the update and you wanted to go ahead and redo the update again. You can do that by shutting off the copter and then restarting it again and see if you get the, the, this result here. Uh, you're still getting the red light and the long beep. Um, you might want to go ahead and um, reformat the card and re-download the, the file again. The file might be corrupted and it's um, not allowing you to uh, finish the update. So I would put a bin file onto the card again and put it back onto the, the camera and do the update again. Now that everything is green and ready to go, uh, we want to go ahead and shut off the copters. Just go ahead and turn it off because we wouldn't need it anymore. And now we're going to uh, move on on how to uh, update the firmware on the transmitter. As you can see before, uh, when we pull up the list, you see that the RC needs to be updated also. So that's what we're going to do right now. And it's a really easy process. Um, all you have to do is turn your transmitter and then also launch your um, Go app. And right in the middle, just go ahead and tap that on top there where it said no signal because the copter is not on. Now I said upgrade required. Go ahead and tap on that. And it's showing me that the RC requires um, needs upgraded. So it, on the bottom, it said that download firmware. So go ahead and click on that. It takes a couple seconds to download here. Now you do need a, a Wi-Fi or some kind of um, connection to, to do this uh, process here. Okay, and now it's done downloading. On the bottom here, it says start to upgrade. Just go ahead and tap on that. As you can see, the light on the bottom here is red right now. Once you tap that, when it's updating, it's turning to blue. And when it's finished, it should turn green. And this process is roughly going to take about 5 to 15 minutes, uh, depends, depending on uh, how, how big the file is uh, or how big the update is. All right, looks like everything is good here. I got the green lights on the transmitter, and it's prompting me that the RC has been upgraded. All you have to do now is um, power cycle your transmitter. So go ahead and turn it off and turn it back on again. You can also check on your Go app to see that if you've done it correctly by going through the menu here. That's pretty much all you need to know about how to update the firmware on all this uh, aircraft here. For more video like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel at Aerial Media Pros. Until next time. Thanks for watching.